Okay, today uh, we're going to do a PowerPoint presentation, mostly on scientific, um, scientific-like presentation. I was looking at seed germination as a topic because of the way that the uh, you can make a nice flow chart, and I want you to see how to make um, kind of a not necessarily a bar chart like we were, but more of a flow chart kind of thing. So, uh, you know, my first step when I was doing my research is I went to, of course, Wikipedia. Wikipedia, and I typed in scientific method. How about that? Sci. I spell science as scientific. No, or scientific science. I spell scientific. Science S C I E N C E scientific. T I F I C. There's no C? There it is. There, I got it. Whoosh, thank you. There we go. So, you know, when I was thinking about it, I was like, what is the scientific method? The scientific is an empirical method of acquiring knowledge that is characterized by the development of science since the last 17th century. And so they have, you know, what is the scientific method, evolution, blah, blah, blah. And then they talk about different parts of the scientific method and hypothesis, prediction, testing, analysis. So what are these things and how we can do a presentation on them? And then our topic will be, our, our example will be um, seed germination. Okay, so I, well, I'll kind of make slides that say process. And then we'll make a, a slide that says hypothesis. We'll make a slide that says prediction. We'll make a slide that says testing and analysis. How about that? Okay. So next is going to do, uh, again, I'm going to go back to w Wikipedia again in a different window. And this one, though, is going to be on uh, slide, uh, what was I going to say? Um, seed germination. Seed germination. There it is. Seed germination. Germination is the process by which organisms grow from a seed or similar structure. The most common example of germination is sprouting and seedlings from seeds. Okay. Introduction. And then you can see them there. You can see them there. You got your barley there. You got your barley. Oh, here. This is kind of the way my flow chart is going to be. We'll, we'll show the different processes. Here. Okay. Okay, so you ready? We're going to get the PowerPoint. We just wanted to get the data ready from us to copy and paste. We're going to steal. Try and write your own stuff, though, a little bit and not just steal. I know it's so easy just to copy and paste from your thing. Okay, so next let's get to uh, PowerPoint, and we will get started. So we got our links up there. Usually I like to show you a template and then alter the template in this uh, example. Um, so let's start with a template. Which one? I was going to show you how to search first. Okay, let, let's just learn how to search. So I'm going to type in science. If I could spell science. S-C-I-E-N-C-E. <laughs> -E. There you go. Okay, how about science is the topic here? Okay, so, oh, look at this one. It even has a little seed in it. Look at that. Do you see this one? It has like a little seed in it right there. <laughs> How about that one? You want that one or you want this one with the crazy background? Whoosh. Or look at this one with the thing, with the background, with the science stuff there. Okay, so which one? You want to do this one with the seed? Double click on it. It'll open up. Okay. So we already got some data in here. You'll notice you got your bar chart. You got your thing chart. You got your... You got a bulleted item there. You got the, the background there. You got this. Oh, here's the method. We're going to do something that looks like this for our seeds, our seed germination right here. And then we're going to animate that. We'll animate these steps on, okay, because you can animate these things as well. Okay, and then you got a title slide here, and then you got some plain slides here, and so on, so on, so on, so on. So you don't need to actually... Um, um, we don't want to actually use these. Remember, you're supposed to change it a little bit, right? So we're going to go and add something to our template. So let's go to our 
master slide. So I'm going to go under view and I'm going to go to slide master and here's our slide master. In our slide master we're going to go and go to the very first one. So go all the way up to the very top and click on this one. Whatever you add to this one usually goes to on every slide. That's why we kind of add it to here. Notice it already has some footer at the bottom with the date already in there, but we'll alter <laughs> that as well. So since we're doing the scientific method here, we might add some kind of science-looking thing to our template here. So uh, I'm going to go back to my Wikipedia here, and let's go and and what it what would what would be the scientific method? We got all these old guys. I don't know if I want to put an old guy in there. Uh, how about we put in? Um, we're doing it on seeds, right? So let's do. Uh, let's think. Be nice to have a some kind of seed. No, I don't like any of these images. How about we go steal from Google? Let's steal from Google images. So when I'm in Google images, we're gonna type in uh what are we looking for? We're looking for seed germination germination. Germination. Is that germination? Germination. Mm. Ooh, this one's kind of cool looking, that one. Mm. This is kind of cool. We could put that in the corner of our presentation. What do you think? Or this one. That's quite nice. I like that little graphic. Or you want to do clip art. There we go. How about we go to, again, tools, and here we go. Use rights. We want to use labeled for non-commercial reuse with modifications. For commercial, where's commercial use? Labeled for non-commercial reuse. Labeled for reuse. How about that? We can use it. How about labeled for reuse with modification in case we want to change it? So, again, where did I get that? Under Google Images Tools you can then choose your licensing agreement. That means I can use it in my presentation without being sued. And then maybe if you want kind of clip art things, you can go under type here and say clip art. And then you get more clip arty looking things. How about this? This is more clip arty. This would look better on my presentation. What do you think? Okay, so again, when you're looking for images, try and use tools labeled for reuse with modification and in this case we're using clip art right here so i'm going to use clip art i'm going to try this one right here oh i do like this christmas ball look at that though it's not making christmas though how about you i'm going to use this one and i'm going to save that and uh, put it on my desktop or we might be able to just copy and paste into um powerpoint so if you right click on it and you can say copy image and you can go back to your PowerPoint here and you can paste it under insert, I don't know, there's, where's paste? Home, paste, paste as picture. There we go. And let's shrink that down a little bit. Shrink it down, shrink it down. And let's put it in the corner up here. How about that? Does that look good or what? Pretty swanky. Here we go. Okay. Notice it's on all slides except for the title slide. If you look over here, it this is the title slide. It's not there. Not there, not there. But it is on this one. Okay, so it's not on the title slide. Okay, next, do you want to change the font for your, your text if you want? You can highlight that and go under Home. And if you don't like this, uh, Corbell, <laughs> Co Corbell? Isn't that why? Uh, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, something like that. Or, let's try, what would it be a scientific looking font? What do you think? American typewriter. American typewriter. <laughs> Don't use things like handwriting. Now, this is hard to read. I'm trying not to use very thick fonts. Um, how about this one? That looks good. I have the T W C H E N M T. 
How about that? What do you guys think? Nice font. It's bold. You can see it. You like the green? Let's. Yeah. No. 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 What the green or the background? You want to put a background in there? Oh, you think the text is too bold? Mm. Yeah, um, I'm leaving it. Okay, if you want to change the background color, go back to uh, uh, Slide Master, and there is a color here. Maybe we could just add a simple background color back there. What do you want? Instead of just plain white. How about we do a nice swoosh? Look at that. No way. Uh, how about a simple? No. no, I don't like that. I don't like any of this. No, I don't want the green. Well, the background's green. This thing's green. The background to the footer is green. I'm going to delete that. Okay, what do you think of a light bluish kind of look? kind of earthy we want some earth tone though how about how about a, maybe a, a dark kind of light whoosh that's yeah, too ugly how about just a slight gradient I added you can't really see it very well here okay there we go I'm gonna go with that kind of right so we got a title we changed in the slide master and then we went and added our, our, our graphic that the teacher said we had to add some kind of graphic. That's what I mean in the, in the instructions to add a graphic. And then uh, we changed our title, and I think we're ready to start. Oh, we got to put our footer in, make sure our footer's right. we got to put our name in there and stuff like that. So in order to put the footer in there, we're going to go underneath Insert, and we're not going to use header and footer, are we? What are we going to use? Slide number, right? Go click there. Uh, there's the automatic date. I guess it puts it in. This is probably pulling. I don't know. I can't change the date here to see if that's what it's doing. You got your slide number there. You got your footer. Don't show on title slide. Okay, and the footer is going to be what? Our copyright symbol. Since we're using a Mac computer, what is the copyright symbol on a Mac computer? Command Option G. Option G. Put your name in there. Whoosh. Spell your name right. Okay, so again, what is this option? It's not header and footer. I clicked on slide number. It says header and footer, but we're really using the slide number option. I don't know why it does that, but hey, that that, that works better. Did you get that? It's under insert, right? You guys all cool with that? Okay, I think we're almost done with our slide master here. We're going to hit apply, and I think we're ready to start building our presentation. Make sure you close your slide master when you're done. Click on where it says slide master right there, and make sure you close that before you start building slides. Close that. Okay. Here we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all this junk that's over here. You don't need these slides over here. I'm going to highlight them all over here except for the title one. I'm going to leave the title one. I'm going to hit delete. Don't worry. They're still there. You can always get those slides back by just going under new. And here they are right here. See them? Right here. Right? It's just they, they give you a bunch of slides ahead of time. Maybe I don't want to go in that order that's there, right? Right? Okay, here we go. So I kind of like the title slide. What do you guys think of the title slide with nice photos and stuff? Now, you can change these photos if you want. You can click on them and uh, change them. I think you should be able to. I don't know why it's not letting me change them. Oh, no, that just added a part of the master. Yeah, I'd probably have to change it in the master. Let's not worry, but I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to change the text, of course. And we're going to do what? Seed germination? Secrets of Life, Seed Germination. Do I get spelled Germination? Let me see, Germination. Then I type it in, G-E-R-M-I-N-M-I-N-A, M-I-N-A, 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 M-I, 
N A. C germination and it put your name in there. Right there. Nice title slide there. Everybody got that? You got a title? Okay. So the first slide I'm going to make is going to be about food because, well, you know, really the reason why we're growing, you know, seed germination is because we need to grow food. Okay, so I'm going to make a nice title, not title slide, a nice slide at the beginning of my presentation that has a picture of food and I'm going to talk about how important food is because you're all hungry, right? So here we go. I'm going to go and add a new slide here. So I'm going to go and make a new title and content slide. Boom, right there, title and content slide. And let's title it, Food Comes From Seeds. Food Comes From Seeds. Now when you're doing titles and things like that, think about how you're going to initial cap maybe the letters or all lowercase, does the word from need to be capitalized? Should it be lowercase? You know, when I first started making slides, when I was 20 years old, this is when I first started making slides, my company, you know, we, we it was called initial capitalization where we capitalized some words, but you know, and, the, and things like that. Unless the was at the beginning, we're all lowercase. I can't remember from, from is I think would be a lowercase. What do you think? It's, I don't know the word from. It's like, off. it's like in the middle. Maybe a, maybe should I capitalize it or maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so let's go. And, and, and here's what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to make a new slide before I start as I'm working. And I'm going to go and make a new blank slide. I'm going to make a new blank slide before we even start. And this is going to be my work cited. So as we build our presentation, as I steal stuff from the Internet, I'm going to copy and paste the link inside here so that we keep track of all the things that we steal so we have a work cited at the end. Okay, then, okay, here we go. So to put text in my work cited, I'm going to go underneath insert and I'm going to say text box right here. See it right here, text box. And I'm going to type a text box at the top here and I'm going to call it works cited. Notice how it's not the title of my template. That's because I'm using a text box. The text box is very generic. It's not taking on the template uh, formatting. Okay, so you can change that to whatever you want, or you can just leave it simple like that. That's fine. I'm going to kind of put it in the corner here. And then I'm going to duplicate that by holding down Option, click, and drag. Option, click, and drag duplicates that. And I'm going to make my box really, 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 really big. No, well, at least across. And as I copy pictures, I'm going to copy and paste the address in the same box. Here we go. So the first picture we stole this seed, didn't we? So I'm going to go and I'm going to copy and paste that in there. So where do we? This seed right here. We came from here. Neck, neck, need pick, need pick, need pick. See it right here. So I can copy that address right there. Copy link location. So look, I'm inside of Google. Notice how I can come over here where the link is. Do you see the link right here? I can say copy link location. Do you see that? Copy link location. I can go back to my PowerPoint and I can click inside here. And I don't want work cited text. I'm going to paste it in there by holding Command V. It's okay. It might be a jumble mess, but that's a link to the image. Oh, on Google. Look, it's a link to the image on Google. Uh, we really want just a need pick. Maybe you should just click. How about this? We do it again. Let's do it. Let's go to the website. There we go. How about we steal the, the address at the top here? Okay. I, I, caught, I should have done that. Go to the page and steal the link right there. And let's go back. And let's not do this crazy Google link. Let's just do the... There we go. That looks better. That looks like the real link to the website, right? Okay. And then hit return because I'm going to come back and, and notice how it makes it blue. It leaves the link there so that anybody watching the presentation could click on the link and go and get the information as well. 
right? The whole purpose of the Works Cited is so that when somebody's looking at your content that they could go and do the research as well, right? The whole purpose of the work cited is for you to do your own research. Well, somebody did research. Oh, look, not only did they give them credit, but I can go and read more about what that is, right? That's why on Wikipedia, at the very bottom of every page, you see all those links there, right? That is the research for that page. It's good for you to do that, okay? Let's continue. We're going to steal a picture of a food, right? We've got to go find some food, so let's go steal some food. Okay, so let's go back to our, uh, let's close this. Let's go back to uh, Google, and we're going to type in uh, uh, um, best food. What's the best food? Not clip art this time. I want to do photo. I'm going to do photo. And we don't want meat. We're doing vegetables, right? We're doing We're doing plants. Uh, what do we want? Donut comes. Does donut come from plants? Uh, it's green. And then coffee's made of coffee. That's a seed, right? Okay, I'm going with this one. Mm, look at that one. Well, that's not a very good quality, is it? Okay, when you're searching for things, too, here's another thing you can keep in mind. Not only do you label for reuse with modification, but you can go to where it says size. Do you see where it says size right here? Click on size and let's go to large, large. There we go. Okay, so this these should be bigger quality. When it says large, it should be better quality. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, this is and that's from Wikipedia too. I could steal that from Wikipedia. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice thing there. And I'm gonna copy that as well. Um, you could either save it on your computer. It's good to save it. So save image as, and you can put it on your desktop. And then if I go back to my PowerPoint, I could go and, oh, let's copy the link while we're here. Copy the link while you're there. Where is it? Where is the link? Let's go to Wikipedia here. And let's copy the link there. Copy. And let's go back to our presentation. And in our, our works cited, let's paste that in there. Boom. Got two works cited already. Let's hit return. Boom. We're moving along. Let's put our food picture in there. So my first slide here is this one. When you have this slide right here, you'll notice there is one that has like a little little uh, photo. Do you see that? Whatever this icon picture from file. If I click on that, I can go and find my picture. It's I think I threw it on the desktop somewhere. Food right there. Boom. And we can put it there if you want. Food comes from seeds. Well, we can put it in the middle if you want. And there you go. That's okay. It's not a very pretty slide because the picture is kind of square and the, the slide is kind of rectangular, but still looks good. So in my presentation, I would be talking about how the food that we eat every day comes from seeds. Okay, how important are seeds? Some of you might want to do it on bees. Remember, bees pollinate. Okay, let's continue. Let's practice our table because remember we have to do a table and we have to do a chart and we have to and then we'll do a a, a flow chart as well. So we're going to do mostly scientific kind of stuff today, right? Okay, so let's look at a chart. So let's think of how we can make a chart. Uh, maybe we could do it in categories of food or categories of seeds. Is there different categories of seeds? Yeah. yeah. Is there different categories of seeds? Hmm? Or how about germination methods? Right? Some some have plants that others the animals need to eat and poop it out, right? Weather germination? What do you guys think? I don't know, I need a chart. Seeds by continent. Mm. Yeah, we need a chart. Somebody give me a chart. Seeds by continent seem so difficult, though. It's like winter planting. Who? Like Maybe time of year. Yeah. Time of year for seeds, huh? Most used seeds. Okay, that sounds good. 
Okay, let's make a new slide. Notice how I have this one selected, so when I say new slide, it's going to push this one down. You know what I'm saying? We keep the work cited at the end. So we're going to click here, and let's go to this one. Boom. Okay, and then so what did we say we're going to do? Most used seeds or most useful seeds? Common. There you go. Okay, most common seeds. And again, this is the chart here. So let's do four or five rows. We'll do four different seeds and three columns. Again, we'll do the same columns we have. Uh, where is it located? Um, how many there are? And then we'll do a picture like we did before. You remember doing that? Let's do it quickly because we've already done it. So let's let's, let's do th three then. <laughs> we don't need to do so many. So let's do four across, four rows. And uh, three columns. Uh -huh. And the reason why I do four rows is because the top one is uh, is is uh, uh, the the kind of legend, right? The kind of the legend there. Now, if you don't like the color of this, which is pretty ugly because it doesn't really show up very well, you can also alter it here. Maybe you want something like that, or maybe you want something like that. I don't know. What do you, what do you want? Or maybe this. Oosh, no, I don't like that either. I mean, I guess it's okay. So this is going to be a uh, type of seed. This is going to be, what did I say, location. And then this will be image. Or no, we were going to do um, how many, right? Or we're going to do location. Is that what we're going to do? Many, many, and then image. Okay, so let's uh, let's go and find the most common seeds. We can ask Siri. Siri, well, Siri, what is the most common seeds in the world? Here's what I found. Oh, I think they said currency. What? what currency you want? Like seeds. What is the most common seed in the world? I found this on the web. Sesame seed. Okay. So let's do sesame seed. And how many were we looking at here? It just says the most common here. One six point one million tons. Six point one million six point one million tons. I guess that's a lot. And then we gotta find an image of the sesame seed, huh? And we're still going under images. Sesame Street. Here's one. Here's one. Let's copy our link while we're here. And put that in our presentation, right? Okay, so copy your link and put that in there. And then uh, steal your picture. Oof, what do I have? What is this, kitchen? There's no E in kitchen. Let's save that image. Sesame? Sesame? That's from Pinterest. Can we steal from Pinterest? I don't know. Sesame 
So uh, let's put it in. So how you put your image in again to the table. Let's just do one. Once we, We've done this already three times. So you don't need to do it again. Let's do it one more time, though. Here we go. So to put your image into your um, table right here, remember you go to where it says picture right here. See picture or tile texture fill. See it right here. So click inside your cell, picture and texture fill. Save file. Let's go and find our sesame. No, that's bananas. We were doing that last time. Here it is. Sesame. I don't know. It doesn't like this JPEG here. No, it doesn't work. That picture was evil. Okay, because probably because it's from Pinterest. So what can we do? Screen grab, right? Yeah. You having problems stealing from the internet? Just take a picture of the internet. Command Shift 4. Drag a box across my sesame seed here. There you go. So remember, if you're having problems saving things, steal the picture from the screen. Command Shift 3. Go over to your PowerPoint. I'm going to go and choose my screen capture. It should be on your desktop called Screen Capture. Boom. Boom. Stolen. You, don't, you can change the offset so it's not so squishy. That's a word. Squishy is a word. I guess squishy is a word. There we go. Okay, we don't have to do the other ones. Once you do one, you know how to do the other ones, right? Okay, so let, let's let's pause right. Keep going. Uh, you can figure out the rest of them, just the same thing. So let's move on. I'm going to make an, uh, this time we're going to do a chart. We'll do the chart directly into um, PowerPoint, but in this case, you know, you might want to do it in, like I said, Excel and copy and paste it into PowerPoint. So... Let's start with a new, you can use the title and content as well here, because uh, let's do a chart of some time. Uh, we're going to do, um, what do you want to do, uh, uh, growing time of the year maybe in the north, uh, we could do like how many seeds germinate, you know, how many in March, May, you know, April, May, February, March, April, May, we could go down months, because different germination times probably. I don't know. And but we gotta say North America, right? Or north uh, uh northern hemisphere, right? Because down south in the southern hemisphere the the stuff grows opposite, doesn't it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. We're like starting to grow things in February, March, April, and down there it's fall. And they're starting to grow things probably September, October. So you yeah, imagine being in Australia, it would be kind of confusing to you, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then their toilet go the wrong way too. <laughs> no, I don't know. So this would be uh, seed uh, germination per month. No germination. Germination. Or is that an e in there? No, there's an E in there. And I spelled something wrong. Germ. Germ. And. Germ. Per month. Okay, so uh, let's just do, Feb we'll make up the date. It doesn't really matter. Most important thing is that you see how to make a bar chart. Again, we'll make a bar chart. Then we'll do a flow chart next. So let's do a bar chart. You'll notice right here in the middle of the thing right there, boom, is insert chart. Do you see that? It's the one in the middle with the little bars in there, boom. And it's going to ask you what kind. We're going to do the column. Do you want to do 3D column? You want to do cool? You want to do simple? You want to do there? You want to do 3D? I'm going to do 3D because I feel cool. I, I'm cool here. Okay, so again, it, it opens up uh, kind of Excel right there. Do you see that? But it's kind of goofy because it puts in data that doesn't, you know, kind of relate to what you want, right? You know, this doesn't really tell me what I want, right? I'm going to do, um, so I'm going to delete this stuff here. And I can't even get rid of it, can I? No. I can't delete that. No, it keeps putting it back. There we go. You gotta get move the box here. Let's move the box down. 
And so this is going to be number of seeds. And this will be month, months, months. And so let's do uh, February, or how about January? January, February, 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 no, Feb, Feb, U -R -U -R -Y, February, and we got March, and then we got April, then we have May, then we have June, and by July, all seeds are done with July. And let's do number of seeds. Uh, let's do, there's a lot of seed germination probably in, uh, uh, we'll say 200. And this will be um, 400. And this would be, uh, let's do, 5,500, oh, we'll do 55. It's going to be a big one there. March is when all the seeds are starting to sprout, right? April, big seed seed month there. Uh, we'll do 45,000. And then we go back. May's going down a little bit. Let's do 3,000. And let's do 600. And let's do 300. Okay, a little bit of seed germination, a little bit more. whole bunch in March, April, and then May go down. It's probably wrong, but it doesn't matter. What the important thing is that we're learning. No, notice the blue box here. I'm going to make the blue box just for the area that you want. Now, if you move your window away, look you can see it automatically showing up. Do you see that? So again, if you move your window away, you can see it there. So you can make adjustments, right? So again, it opens up there. I, you know, it, yeah, you just close Excel. You don't have to even save it. Okay, you can close Excel. You don't even have to save it. Now, if you want to get back and alter the data, you double click on the chart right here. You can double click on it. No, that didn't work. Oh, here it is. Change chart. It's over here. Select data. Here, it's over here. You can edit data. There it is. Over here. It's like over here. But again, it should pop up automatically there. So not too bad. Do you think we can animate it? Who thinks we can animate the chart? Oh, to get back and change it? You click on it and you go here where it says there. See how you're in chart design still? See where it says chart design? And then you got your data changing there. So see if you can do that there. And then we'll animate our chart. I'll give, Again, think of the animation of the bullet of the text. First thing I'm going to do before I get to the animation part is I'm going to select the bars first. The easiest way to animate is select what you want to animate first. So right now I have the whole chart. I don't want that. Click on the bars themselves right here. Do you see how when I click on the bars, they kind of turn blue? Do you see that? They have the little blue dots around it. Then go to where it says animation. See where it says animation right here. Now you can apply these things to them. You got the appear, so they kind of pop on. You can do blinds. You can do all these things. You can do fly in. Like I said, this is the common one if you want it flying in. And there's a whole bunch. There's swirl, boomerang. You don't want to do too crazy of stuff, do you? No, you don't want to do crew too crazy. How about we just do the simple. Dissolve's not bad. Fly in. Peek in. I don't know what the difference between fly in and peek in. Let's try a peek in. Okay, now it did the whole chart itself, and you're like, no, I don't want that. I want the individual bars themselves to peek in. Do you notice how it did the whole thing? Ah, okay. But you can come over here to where it says animation over here. Do you see the effect over here? This is where you can alter and change your options over here. So when you're over here, you can see where it did placeholder content. Do you see that right there? 
if you double click on that, uh, somehow, hold on, I, I know there's a way to do it. I've done it. Oh, chart animation. Here it is. It's at the bottom right here. Look at where my cursor's at over here. So you, as one object. You don't want one as one object. You want to do by a series. No, not series. By category. And uh, by element in series. Uh, element in category. I guess that's element in Siri. You think that one? I have all of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess the first one is that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to test this. We need to test it. We need to test it. Start animation by drawing the chart in the background. We can turn it off. So now you only have seven. So it starts. So if you turn that off, it's not going to animate the entire chart on. Did you find the chart animation? It's down here. So I think by element in series, I think is what we want from bottom. Don't dim. Uh, timing on click. Um, you can also do it on with previous seconds. Repeat. Rewind when done playing. Uh, I want to test this. I thought there was a but. Oh, here it is. Play selected. There we go. Here they are. There's a little play box right here. Did you see that? How about that? Do you see a little play box? Okay, again, so first is to apply the animation. Then you got to go down here to the bottom where it says chart animation. And then I did by element in a series. So it should do each and every one. Let, let's test our whole presentation for right now and see how it looks. Let's just start from the beginning. To test your presentation in the beginning, I'm going to go to where it says slideshow and start from the beginning. Let's try that. So I have my search, whatever, C germination. I have uh, uh, my beautiful. Uh, you know, all food comes from seeds. Well, all, I guess, vegetables. But I guess the animals eat seeds to, to grow, so I guess all food does come from seeds, doesn't it? Even if you eat animals, right? And here's our table. And then here's our, our chart. And then each click is a different one. Then you can talk about it. Oh, and you can put the numbers in there. We should probably put the numbers on top. You remember how to do that with the chart? And you go back in time with the back arrow. Okay. What do you guys think? You got you, you doing we'll do the seed germination process flow chart. So again, you can go again back to the home and say new slide. This time you can do again title and content is fine. This one right here title and content so in this case you'll notice there is a box that's over here it's called smart art do you see it it's the one on the it's the one next to the chart it's called smart art do you see that one if you click on that one it gives you different types of processes and you can see them all when you get the pop-up window so you got all these different processes you got, you know, these are kind of, we're going to do kind of a cycle one, right? This looks like maybe a germination process, right? And then, um, yeah. something like this is what I was thinking. But all these are great for your biology kind of things, you know, right? If you've seen them in your biology class and things like that. And so these are all, the pyramid, maybe that's the food pyramid, right? Cheeseburgers at the top. <laughs> Cheeseburger at the top of the food pyramid. <laughs> okay, let's look through some of them. Hierarchical ones, are, those are probably good business ones, right? You got to show your flow. And then you got relationship ones. And you got matrix. You got your pyramid one. There it is. There's the food pyramid one. And then a picture one. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of different ones. I'm probably going to use the cycle one, this one. Uh, let's go to. The, I'm going to do the first one here. Boom! It's most common. Boom! So it kind of puts generic data in there, but we can alter the data. Some of the things you can do is you can put images inside there. So uh, instead of just text, right? Because text, ah, uh, text is boring. So you remember how we used to put images into the pie chart? Remember in the pie chart, didn't we put 
food in the pie chart. Remember the hot dog and stuff like that? That day we did hot dog and stuff. That was good. So we can actually put images in there. So we need to go find the images for the process of the uh, seed germination. So let's go and steal some data from the internet. So let's go back to our Google and let's go to our seed germination process. How about that? Seed German. Oh, germination, geranium, no, German, germination, germination, no, I still can't spell germination, germ, uh, what am I doing, I here, germination diagram, there it is, boom, and now I've seen the ones that go in a hierarchical circle, don't, do we have some, mm. Cycle, that is a good word. No. I swear, oh, here, this one. Life cycle of a plant. No, I thought there would be one that would be a show like little, little, middle, middle, big. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We got tree, flower, fruit, seed, sprout. No. How about uh, see? Oh, here's one that goes the growth of cycle of foxtail. No, but it has some lines in it. Here's the life cycle of corn. I'm gonna like. Seed germination. Oh, look at this one. Do you ever have a garden? Yes, I always have a garden every year. What's your favorite thing to grow? Oh, my favorite thing to grow. Have you ever grown like tomatoes? Yes, I do have I do have tomatoes, but there's a tree in my neighbor's yard that that grows really big and sucks all the water out of my thing and kills everything that I grow. I'm gonna have to dig up the ground and put in some plastic to keep the, the, the roots out. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have anything that's decent here. Oh, maybe this one, right? But look at this one. It's kind of generic, but hey, let's, I'm going to go with it. Okay, so I'm going to take each and every one of these things and put them into the, the uh, box. So again, we're going to use our, 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 our favorite stealing method is what? Screenshot, right? Okay, so how many do we have in our cycle? What are, how many is in that thing there? One, two, three, four, five. I got five. We could add one if you want and subtract one too. So let's do six because we can get six out of this thing, right? See if you can find something that has six seeds. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's do one, two, three, four, Five, six. That's what I'm going to do. So here we go. Take your screen grab. It's Command Shift Four, and I'm going to draw a box around one. Then I'm going to do Command Shift Four. I'm going to do another box around two, and then Command Shift Four, um, three. Command shift four, four, and five. Oh, I'm just gonna do five. It's all right. Okay, so again, I like to. St I do that often. I st I do this screen capture thing. I find it very useful. Okay. Yeah, you should take one eight hundred flowers here, and copy that link and put it into your uh, works cited. Good reminding me. Okay, so again, the easiest way to put these into your uh, presentation is to click on one of the circles themselves. Go to where it says format shape is over here. Do you see it over here? So I click on one of the boxes, click on one of the boxes, 
Go to where it says format shape inside there. You'll notice that you have an option for picture or texture fill. Do you see that? Just like we normally do. Remember how we've done this for backgrounds for things? It's the same thing for like the cell in the table, right? If you click on that, you can then go and say file, and then you can go and find your screen grab. I'm going to go with my first one, which is kind of a seed here, and I'm going to say insert, and that doesn't look very good. <laughs> Uh, again, you can turn the offset down a little bit. There we go. We can offset that a little bit. There we go. <laughs> and then change your text if you want. And we call this, uh, what, what, when the seed goes in the ground, what's it called? <coughs> seed in the ground? Planting. planting. There you go. You were on top of things. Planting. Planting. And then the next one, I think I had, uh, what's the second one there? This is when it's just about sprouting. Sprouting would this be this one, right? Sprouting. S-P-R-O-T? Sprouting? Is there two T's in sprouting? Ooh, one T? Good. Oh, that doesn't show up very well. You think I can change the, the oh, sprout? Oh, S-P-R? Sprout? Maybe it is two T's. Oh, you. Thank you. Oh, okay, give me give me an eye bar. Sprout. It's P R O U T I N G. Sprouting. And then uh, let's change the color of that so we can see it. There we go. Sprouting. And then here we go. Let's give ourselves a uh, um, watering. There we go. Watering. Water. Watering. Let's change the color of that so it shows up. And then we have uh, sunshine. Sunshining. Photo. Oh, that's too long a word, and I could never spell that. How about sun? Sunny. <laughs> you can. And I'm not doing photos. It's sunny. How about that? Uh, and then the last one is harvest, maybe? Blooming. Blooming. There you go. That's a good word. Blooming. Bloomingdale's. What's, what's that? That, that, that? No, that's Bloomingdale's. No, there's a flower shop. Blooming. What's the one down in Elmadin Valley? Bloom. Bloomberg, no, Bloom something. Where's the bloom? Blooming. Okay, whatever, you get the idea. If you want to add one, you have a box that shows up here. Do you see this box right here? To add a object, you can hit the plus button. Boom, automatically adds another one. Okay, you want to remove one. Boom, minus. Uh, this is the box for the smart art box. Um, you might need to, to double click on your smart art and then you can change there's like 3d ones Ooh, I don't like that oh and I changed the color of my text okay whatever okay let me pause now for this okay very similar animating the other one click on the uh, uh, now just click on the whole thing you don't have to click on the bar and then just go to your animation option right here. And again, you got your fly. I don't want to really fly in. How about we do a peer? Of course, we don't want to. And, oh, we didn't. We forgot to give it a title too. Let me give this a title. This is a seed. Um, is growing. I don't know. Okay, let's get back. So again, the same thing for your animation. It's at the bottom down here. The smart art animation, it should say, woo, woo. It's way down the bottom. I'm sorry, I can't get this any higher. It's way down over here. If you look down here, you have your group. Uh, it says as one object. You could say all at once, one by one. One by one. And then you can do it on click right here. Or I think uh, with previous, with after previous, I don't know. There's a way to um, with sound. I have a sound. We could do a sound on it. A delay. I don't know. Here you can hit the play button. Let's see what it looks like. 
No, that didn't work. As one, no, I didn't want one by one. Didn't that what I clicked? Why won't it let me change that? Oh, I mean, maybe I need to click on it. Did anybody get it to work? Anybody get one by one? No. Why is it not working for me? So we have one. I don't want one. I want one by one. Does everybody get one? Did, did anybody get it to work? You got it to work? Let me start again. I'm going to click on my box. I'm going to go to, maybe it's the one I chose up here. Maybe if we go to, how about dissolve in? Dissolve in and then go to one by one. No? Why won't it let me do that? Did anybody get it to work? So yours is working, but mine is not. Hmm. One by one. Must be doing something wrong. Maybe if I select them all, what, is that what you mean? Select, select them all and then go to, no. Okay, let me try. How about if I select them all? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the shift key down, select them all, and then I try and apply the animation. Mm. What, zoom? Oh, but it's doing the whole thing. No. Okay, whatever. Some of you got it to work. There, there is, in theory, it's supposed to do that where one of them come on at a time. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So say it's like you're showing this cycle, right? And mm -hmm. it's like, and this, like originally these, these, you know, you have to plant and you have to wait for it to sprout. Mm -hmm. But and then in a new method, you take out that sprouted. Is there a way to like have it like you know just so like the, the new like you just take out sprouting, right? Like so that one dissolves out. And then change it to the new one. You mean? Yeah, or it's like it's like there's no sprouting now. It's just like the, the four items. Yeah, like highlighting each one as it goes along, maybe. Yeah, I see what you're trying to say. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good. Look at that. That's... I don't want that. I want my one one at a time. I don't know why it's not doing it. I'm sorry, but some of you got it to work, right? Yes. Again, I'm going to try one more. I'm going to remove it. Um, click here. Animation panel. What, what, which one did you guys get it to work on? Which one? Maybe it's the one I'm, I'm choosing a bad one. Did you get... You did appear? It won't even let me change anything down here. Okay, let's move on. I'll just have to live with it. Okay, let's do last slide, and then we'll do some transitions, and then we'll do some sound, and then we'll be done. Okay, let's do our video last time like we did video. Or you want to do just audio, the sound of flowers growing. <laughs> no, I guess... They don't oh, make them. Your specific yeah. Sound is flowers grow. yeah. Oh, you play music for your flowers; they might grow. Mm. 
So let's do a time lapse of, of the seed growing. You guys ever see the time lapse of seed growing? Let's do that. So let's go to Google. Let's go to YouTube, I meant YouTube. And we'll do time lapse of seed growing. Time lapse seed. Oops. Seed growing. Time lapse of sunflower. Sun. Sunflower. Sunflower seed time lapse. There's one blooming. Oh, here's one from sunflower from seed to... Oh, that just jumped, though, didn't it? Keep the formula. Well, the real formula. With a little help from Google Play. A phone play by Google. Wow, how long is this? Well, I hope he had a big battery in his camera to do it over all these days. <laughs> Okay, again, I'm going to do a, a command shift four and take a picture of this. Remember that? Command shift four, take a picture. And then I'll use that picture as the link to the video. Right? So let's make a new slide. So let's make a new slide. Under home, we can make, oh no, insert, new slide, let's do title and content. And then this is going to be, uh, what was it, a time lapse? Time, time lapse of sun flower. Is that not time lapse? Time lapse is two words. Time lapse of sunflower. Then again, to put your picture on, you're gonna go to the little, little, little this one right here, whatever this is here. Boom, and then choose your uh, screen capture. Okay. Then um, you probably should put some text in there to to tell people to click. Um, so if you put some text in there with your text box, maybe put something that says click to play video. How about that? Put some text in there because people are not going to know that I need to click on this unless you tell them they need to click. How about that? Then on the picture itself, if you select the picture itself, you're going to go to where it says uh, link right here. See where it says link right here? And then let's go get the video link. Let's go get the video link. And under share, see where it says share right here? Share. We could copy the, the video link there. Copy. If you want to start the video at a specific time and location, you can also do that in the share. See where it says start right here? So put the playhead where you want it to start and then click the share button or click the copy button there. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? What I mean by playhead? So you can see this this little little red dot. You see the red dot here? So you don't have to start all the way at the beginning. Maybe I want to start somewhere like here, 36 seconds in. I put my playhead where I want it. Then I hit share and you see there's a button right there. It says start at 38 do you see that right there click on that then copy the link Do you see that copy the link 
then go to your PowerPoint and then paste it in there and then say uh, web page or file that's fine and hit OK so then it'll start at 37 seconds not at the very beginning you guys all got that see okay last thing is let's put some transitions in there so again to put transitions between our slides we're going to select all the slides. If you want the same transition between every slide, you can select them all and then uh, put the same transition. Again, transitions go on the slide that you're going to. So here we go. So I don't have a transition at the beginning. It's just going to start with the title slide. But if I want a, a transition to go from here to here, from this one to this one, I'm going to click on this one right here. And I go under transition right here, and I can go to fade, push, whatever. The default is fade, I guess. But you could go wipe like that. See that? Wipe is a good one. And then again, from here to here, you click on it, and then you can say, um, uh, oh, plane is always a good one. And then go from here to here, and we go to um, vortex. Everybody loves a vortex. And then from here to here, we'll go to uh, reveal. And then from here to here, we'll go to, uh, uh, let's see, fall over. Look at that. And then from here to here is our last one. Let's just fade on that one. OK, if you want to put a sound in between your slides, you click on the slide that you want it to go to and then put a sound. Right now, between one and two, there's no sound. Let's go to see where it says sound right here. Same as in the transitions. You got all these sounds right here. You got your drum roll. You got your coin. You got your laser blast. Everybody loves the laser blast. And then you got there. Next class, we'll go over how to do different sounds. And then we will have, um, we'll do sound over all the slides. Okay, so when you're done with that, let's preview our slide presentation. So here's our first one. There's our laser blast. There's that. And here is our... That's good. And then we have our bars coming up. And then we have, I don't know why I couldn't get this to animate. And then we have our video, right? You click on your video. And remember, the video starts. Oh. Uh -oh. And then again, remember, it started here. Look. I didn't have, oh, you don't see it. It's because I'm in a presentation mode here. It's okay. There is a video on my screen. Then the last one is uh, your links to your stuff, and I can go and look at your links to where you got the stole the pictures. Hit escape. So make sure you save your presentation as a PowerPoint file and turn it in. Okay.